welcome back to the Coromaster series of videos. Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about playlisting and play cues. Now, if you have a media playback and decode card in your chassis, you have playlisting. So this window you can see on, on screen, this is playing from the USB stick uh, in the back of that module. Now, if I hit manage, this is where I can set up uh, playlists and play cues. So essentially, a play cue uh, is if I want to uh, create a list of media uh, just off the bat and want just to play. So if I want to go honeybees, jellyfish, uh, I'm just going to set the duration of this using the three little buttons. So we're going to hit this, it's going to be five seconds, just so you see this change quickly. Update item and play. And now that's playing. Now, these two, this, this playlist isn't saved. It will just play and loop until I stop it and clear it. Now, if I want to create a playlist, I can do this in the background. So I'm going to leave this playing, and then I'm going to come down to uh, playlists. Now, this is how we create a playlist. And if we can't remember, it's printed right in front of us. You select a playlist from the browser. So this is playlists. So I'm going to select this in the browser and then push the plus. So if you go playlists, then um, you're, you're up and up and running. And at the top here, you can see add playlist. We're going to add a new playlist. And we're going to call this playlist four. Um, it's going to be resolution 1080p60, but there's a, a choice under here, obviously. And now I'm going to add it. And it will add it into my browser. It will also add it in the playlist editor. So let me go back to the USB media that I had originally. And let's start uh, creating a playlist. So we're going to drag down the Bs. So I'm going to go edit. Uh, five seconds of that. Uh, then I'm going to drag down my jellyfish. That's going to be uh, six seconds of that clip. And then uh, we'll add one of these other ones is here. So we'll add this avatar clip as well, I think. So this is 105 at the minute. Let's just shorten this down as well to uh, five seconds. So just so you can see them rotate through. Okay, so I now have my playlist here. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save it. And now that is uh, saved in the playlist area. So it's there ready to go. At the moment I have media playing already. Now, there's a couple of options. I can either uh, load this playlist into the current queue, or I can play, uh, so I can load it into the queue and play it right away. Now, uh, this is pretty obvious. One loads it and doesn't play, and this one plays it right away. So I'm gonna load it, and you'll see there's a safety mechanism here that it says, are you sure you wanna play this? You've got media on air already. Yep, I wanna play it, so it's gonna stop the media, load the new material, and then when I'm ready, I can push play. And now we're going through this. We'll have our three clips, all, all five or six seconds uh, long. Now, um, I can control this in several ways. So I, I can obviously do this through my interface. I also have a really rich API document, and that's available from our website, www.tv1.com. If you go to the Choreo Master page, and you can uh, download the API. It's quite an in-depth document, but it will give you lots and lots of um, uh, commands that you can use to control your Choreo Master playlists and queues remotely from another control surface. So all of the commands I have here, you can recreate. So that's playlists and queues. It's a great time saver. It's a brilliant alternative to having a separate PC uh, in your setup that you have to control. One of the great reasons for that is I can set a playlist to start play on startup. So if I was to lose power to this unit now, it would start up and play this playlist without any commands at all. Um, so that's uh, playlists and cues for Corey Master.